had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Mr. Trump, you've done great things in your life, and I just wonder, how do I, as an average person, begin? Like well, first of all, never think of yourself as average. You okay. started off with the wrong question, <laughs> because you're not average. You've got a lot going. I see you're smart. I see you're very beautiful. What we were able to do today was allow people to see his heart for themselves and to make up their own minds about him. And they, 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 they find out that he's not the person that the media has depicted him to be. Are you endorsed? Yes, I support Donald Trump, and everybody knows, everybody knows. 100%. Families I know friends. Donald forever. I, I like Donald very Wonderful much. guy. I mean, he is. And, and he's miscast by the media. You know that. He's oh, a, I like Donald. He's got an enormous ego, but he's a good guy. He's got a big heart, by the way. He's very good to people. He's very kind to people. He's people been, don't know that. You just have to get that word average out of your vocabulary and you have to tell yourself that you're great and you have to believe it. If you can say it and don't believe it, it doesn't matter. A kid that worked in the back. Right. I said, well, hey, how is Donald Trump? This is before he ran. This is months ago. He goes, unbelievable. He would come backstage, come back to the kitchen and give $100 to the staff. Yeah. He would give these guys quietly. Nobody Amazing. would know about Amazing. that. The fact is, I go down the streets of New York, and the people that really like me are the taxi drivers and the workers, etc., etc. Also, his children. I know his son, Eric. I've met him a couple of times. Mm -hmm. He's a great kid. They're great, they're great kids. They're great kids. Yeah. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Do you like him? Yeah, I mean, he's real. That's all we need. I like his ideas. Those are real letters. Those are not corporate letters. Those are not letters from These Exxon. These are handwritten. Those are not letters yeah. from uh, General Motors. Those are letters from people. You have to have heart. You have to take care of women's health issues. You have to take care of poor people that don't have, that they're never going to have a shot. And you have to take care of African-American youth who have never been in a worse position than they are right now. This sounds like political presidential talk to me. And I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally. I think Donald Trump, underneath it all, isn't just a business guy. I think he loves America. I really do. I think he cares. This country has such potential. I love the country. I think we can make it better than ever before. We have to unleash it. People have lost their spirit. Donald Trump represents truth, logic, and common sense. His incentive and his self-interest is tied to the well-being of the country that he's supposed to represent. I speak to you as a fellow citizen of the United States of America, deeply concerned about the welfare of our beloved country. I am not here to tickle your ears, to entertain you. I will talk to you frankly and honestly. The message I bring is not a happy one, but it is the truth. And time is always on the side of truth. Truth must be repeated again and again because error is constantly being preached round about. 
I realize that the bearer of bad news is always unpopular. As a people, we love sweetness and light, especially sweetness. I am sorry to say that all is not well in so-called prosperous, wealthy, and powerful America. We have moved a long way and are now moving further and more rapidly down the soul-destroying road of socialism. The evidence is clear, shockingly clear, for all to see. With our national prestige at or near an embarrassing all-time low, we continue to weaken our domestic economy by unsound fiscal, economic, and foreign aid policies which corrupt our national currency. With the crass unconstitutional usurpation of power, by the executive branch of the federal government, anti-spiritual decisions of the Supreme Court, all apparently approved by a weakly submissive rubber stamp Congress, the days ahead are ominously frightening. It is imperative that American citizens become alerted and informed regarding the threat to our welfare, happiness, and freedom. No American is worthy of citizenship in this great land who refuses to take an active interest in these important matters. Stand up for, for freedom, no matter what the cost. It can help to save your soul and maybe your country. May God give us the wisdom to recognize the danger, the dangers of complacency, the threat to our freedom, and the strength to meet this danger courageously. I would like to thank the evangelical and religious community because I'll tell you what, the support that they've given me, and I'm not sure I totally deserve it, has been so amazing and has had such a big reason for me being here tonight. True. So true. They have much to contribute to our politics, yet our laws prevent you from speaking your minds from your own pulpits. An amendment pushed by Lyndon Johnson many years ago threatens religious institutions with a loss of their tax-exempt status if they openly advocate their political views. Their voice has been taken away. I am going to work very hard to repeal that language and to protect free speech for all Americans. nations that have ever been in a relationship with God or Israel and the United States of America. Father God, in Yeshua's name, if you bring this man into the Oval Office, I speak your blessing yes. over him for the yes. sake of your people. Yes. Yahweh Bishmarecha. Yaer Yahweh Panabe Lecha Bihunecha. Yisa Yahweh Panabe Lecha. Beyasem Lecha. Shalom. Father, for the sake of you, your glory, your kingdom, yes. because of your love of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. Yes. The Lord make his face shine on you yes. and be gracious yes. to you. Yes. The Lord lift you up with his countenance yes. and the Lord give you his peace. And Father, as you gave Solomon wisdom to govern your people. Yes. Father, if you exalt this man to the highest office in this land, Father, we pray for wisdom that you would be glorified and that your glory would be seen in this country. In Jesus' name, amen.
things that he said is true. Wow. The Mexican um, border. And, you're Hispanic um, and you're saying that. Are you sure? <laughs> wow. I know what Donald Trump is doing is representing the absolute heartbreak and anger and frustration at a government gone mad. I guess I just wanted to find out if there was one thing that you wanted people to remember about Donald Trump. What is it? Never, ever give up. The power of positive thinking, and I think that's very much in Donald's makeup. If I become president, I couldn't care less about my company. I want to use that same up here, whatever it may be, to make America rich again and to make America great again. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump has came up with some very strict immigration laws that would guarantee work in the African-American community. I hope he gets through with his intentions about building the wall. Well, I just want to let everybody know that not all Latinos are, are blind. He knows what money is, where it comes from, and how to make more of it rather than redistributing other people's in exchange for their vote. And the intensity with Trump is like nothing I've seen since I was a little kid and Reagan was running. And they were saying, this is America's last shot. If we don't get it right this time, we're not going to have a country left, folks. We're not going to have a country. Are we seriously trying to figure out whether or not Donald Trump would make a good president? The man has major, major... Honestly, I really enough. think voters and Americans are looking at this guy saying it's refreshing to hear somebody not be a wuss not be a politician and really say what they think these aren't dumb people these are American patriots and they want this country turned around I don't want nuance I want bold colors red white and blue America I have seen in the last several decades absolutely fray and decline when I saw those guys on the boats on their knees I mean that says a picture about America that I haven't seen ever before Democrats, not one or two, but many, are voting for Donald Trump, as well as, the, as, as Republicans. I've seen this all over the place. So I think there's a big, big movement happening, and i got to say that, uh, you know, we need him. You know, this is a movement, folks. This is not, like, even maybe about me. I don't want it to be about me. This is about common sense. It's about doing the right thing. The silent majority is back. And we're gonna take the country back. I have a big heart. I'm gonna take care of people. I'm gonna make sure that this country comes first. We don't come first. We don't come ten. We take care of everyone else but our own. And that's gonna change. says what he believes, but's willing to put himself in jeopardy for what he believes, and will help us economically and spiritually and uh, in every way in this nation. So today we pray for Donald Trump. Yes. yes. We pray for his family. We yes. pray for his, his associates. We pray that what he has heard today from those who have spoken into his life, he will consider. 
Lord, I pray that you will bring into his life a, a strong African American who can stand with him and represent yes, yes. that community so that his voice will be heard even in a stronger yes, way there. Yes, Lord, whatever it is you're going to do to bring around him the right people as he moves forward in this campaign, we ask you to give him direction and give him hope. And Lord, thank you for allowing us to be here for this special moment. Perhaps we'll look back on this day and remember that we stood together and we prayed over the next president of the United States. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Thank you. Father, you said in your word, Yes, Lord. Any man that lacks wisdom, yes. Yes. let him ask of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Who giveth liberally to all yes. men glory yes. and upbraideth not. But let him ask in faith, yes. nothing wavers. For any man that wavers is like the blowing wind on the water. Let not that man think he shall receive anything from the Lord. Yes. No man can be successful as president of the United States without your wisdom. Yes, right. And so we ask you today yes, yes. to give this man your yes, wisdom yes, yes, boldly, yes. make sure yes, and certain that he hears. Yes. Yes. Manifest yourself to him. Yes. And we thank you and praise you for a bold man, a strong man, and an obedient man. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus. We thank you that no weapon formed against him will That's be able right. to prosper. And any tongue that rises against him will be condemned according to the word yes. of God. Yes. And even as we lay hands on him right now, let your hand be laid upon him. Let him have a greater encounter with you, a greater encounter with the spirit of God. That according to Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, the eyes of his understanding would be enlightened. That he may know what is the hope of the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints. That any veil would be removed and his yes. eyes would be opened to see the glory and the goodness of God. All the days of this life, let him live well. I secure him. Yes. I secure his children. Yes. I secure his calling and his mantle in Jesus' name. Amen.